Hey guys, today I'm gonna do a book haul. This is my January and February book haul, but I haven't really bought any books or gotten any books in March. So is it also a March book haul? Let's get started. The first books I got were from the free book cart at my library, my school library. She has books that haven't been used in, I don't know how long. Most of them are from the 70s. But she has like old books. The first two I have are Egyptian Adventures by Olivia Coolidge and The Cruise of the Catchlot by Frank Bolin. Bulin. Guys, these books are old. I don't know if that's the right pronunciation or not. Egyptian Adventures is, I think it's just like mythology. Mm -hmm. No. They're short stories from Egypt. And they were told by someone who was alive at that time, which is pretty cool. They're, I guess they're translated. I, I love mythology and this kind of reminds me of mythology. And then The Cruise of the Catchlot, I think it's a classic. Comment below if you've heard of it. I'm not sure. It says, okay, there's a page at the back that says, great illustrated classics. I just, I saw classic and I thought, wow, that looks cool. Yeah, I pick up way too many books from that book cart. It's kind of a problem. book is The Gigantic Beard That Was Evil by Stephen Collins. I read this and I loved it and then I was like raving about it to my friend and she bought me it for Valentine's Day which was so sweet of her because like my parents wouldn't buy me a book for Valentine's Day. I love the drawings, I love everything about this book so I've already read it but I got it in February. My next book is also from Ashkabat. It is City of Ashes by Cassandra Clare. She gave this to me because I'm reading the Mortal Instruments series and I was about ready to go on to the next book and my mom returned it to the library. Perfect timing because Ashkabat just gave this to me and I'm glad because I like it a lot more than City of Bones. So I don't really want to own City of Bones, but I'm glad to own this one. That's City of Ashes. My next book is Tender is the Night by F. Scott Fitzgerald. I read The Great Gatsby and I honestly hated it, but classic. I don't own any of F. Scott Fitzgerald's stuff. I do now. I honestly have no idea what this is about. Do you hear that? It's sticky. I peeled something off and it's still sticky, so it's like sticking to other books. The cover's not the best, however. It's free, so I'm good with it. I'm kind of excited to read this. I think I'm gonna look up the plot and also like what things represent because I missed the entire point of The Great Gatsby because I read it without any direction of any sort. So I'm gonna read this with context and we'll see how it goes. Then I have Literature of the Eastern World, which is kind of, I'm thinking it's gonna be like Egyptian Adventures. It's just, like, literature from that time. I guess it's in translation because it's all English. So reading stuff like this is just really interesting. So that's that. And the last one... We're good. Okay, the last one is Sounds and Silences by some dude. Is this by one person? I think it's just a collection of poetry, and I'm not a huge fan of poetry. I think it was in my currently reading video. I mentioned that I'm trying to read more poetry because it's not really my thing. So I picked this up. It's evidently got different topics. Okay, so it's by a bunch of different authors. I just saw one by Langston Hughes. I don't know what the premise of this is, how they're all connected. It might just be that they're all good poetry. Also, it's short. So I'm thinking it'll be easier to get through than any of my other poetry collections. Those were all the books I got in January and February. I hope you enjoyed the video and you'll see me in my next one because I can't see you. I'm talking to a camera. Juice!